Hello children, I hope you are all happy and safe. Welcome to this special English hour. Here every day we will learn something new in a fun and interesting way. Are you ready to have fun? Okay, then let's start our day with a quick tongue twister. Children, now let's start our day with a quick tongue twister. Do you know what a tongue twister is? Okay, then let me tell you. Please repeat the sentence that I will be saying now. Susie works in a shoe shine shop. Susie works in a shoe shine shop. Susie works in a shoe shine shop. Now do you know why it's called a tongue twister? So children, let's say the sentence five times and let's say it a little faster. Susie works in a shoe shine shop. 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 Were you all able to say it right? I believe some of you may have fumbled. Even I, when I started learning this tongue twister, used to fumble many times. But then I finally got it right with practice. Children, if you enjoyed this tongue twister, please share it with your friends. Children, now I would like to ask you a few questions. Let us share our thoughts and ideas. Children, when you have a question in your mind or when you want some information, what do you do? I believe first we ask our family members, then we ask our friends, then we ask our teachers, right? Okay, now in case they don't have the information we need or we want more information, what do we do? Yes, we try to read books. And what if we read a lot of books but still don't get the information that we want? Yes, then we use the internet. We use the internet via our phone or via the computer, right? Okay, can you tell me what all services, what kind of information do we get on the internet? The internet gives us lots of information and also gives us lots of services. Let's talk about the information we get. We can get all kinds of images, all kinds of songs, films that we want on the internet. We also get banking services on the internet. School admission, college admission related services are also available on the internet. So children, internet has definitely made life simpler. Children, do you think it is okay to spend a lot of time on the internet? Well, the internet does provide us with lots of information and gives us a lot of services. We can spend a lot of our time watching movies, listening to songs, playing games, chatting with friends. But it's not a healthy habit to sit in one place or to constantly be on the internet 
and expose our eyes to the screen. It is also good to take some time off the internet, spend time by ourselves or read a book or meet with our friends. Children, let's learn more about the internet today. Children, today we will be reading a very interesting lesson. The title of the lesson is Be a Netizen. If you have a textbook, please open to page number 72 and point to the words as I read. If you don't have a textbook, please see your TV screens and listen to me carefully. Children, please look out for the new words we just noted earlier and try to guess their meaning. Be a netizen. Have you seen or used a computer? Computers have brought about many changes in the way we do things. One of the most amazing features of the computer world is the internet or the net. A network is a system of tubes, wires, roads, etc., which are all connected to each other. The internet or the net is a network of computers. It links thousands of computers or smaller networks of computers with one another. It is so large that millions of people around the world can use it at the same time. So children, be a netizen is a lesson about computers and the importance of the internet. The computers definitely have made life easier. They have brought about a great change in the way we do things. An important thing about computers is its network. A network is a connection between wires, roads, tubes, etc. A network means different pieces are connected strongly. The internet is also a network of many computers around the world. Millions of people at the same time can use the internet to get whatever information they require. This information can be about space, it can be about health, it can be about education, it can be about any subject and all the information is available on the internet. The internet makes it possible for computer users to get or send information very quickly. All you have to do is to log on, that is, give instructions to your computer to start using the internet. Then you may see on the net all the information you need. The information may be in the form of text, pictures, moving images or even sounds, speeches or music. You can also send your own information on the internet. Once you have gathered or given the information on the internet, you can log off, that is, give instructions to your computer to get disconnected from the net. Millions of people log on to the internet to get all kinds of information that they want. This information may be in the form of music, sound, text, images, moving images, videos, etc. People log on to the internet to get information as well as to upload their own information. After 
they have used the internet, they can log off. That is, get disconnected from the network. The internet is like an ocean of information. You may wonder how one can find tiny bits of information in this ocean. But it is not at all difficult. The information on the net is stored and made available in a systematic way on websites. Websites are places on the net. Each website has its own address. Using this address, you can visit a website. That is, you can read or view the information stored on it. The thousands of websites on the net together form the World Wide Web, www. The internet is like an ocean of information, but all this information has been systematically arranged via websites. Websites provide us information on a particular topic or a set of topics. Each website has an address. The address begins with www, which means World Wide Web. All the websites together form the World Wide Web. For any information that we need, there is always a website that we can go to and get the information. Even when we want to upload or give some information, we use a website. There are special computer programs known as search engines which help you to find the different websites on the World Wide Web. If you type the word or subject on which you want information, the search engine shows on your screen. A list of websites that have the information. You can then go to that website. Looking at the various websites is known as browsing or surfing the net. Children, the entire ocean of information is categorized using websites. That means there are multiple websites for the same information that you need. So, to find the website that suits you appropriately, gives you the information that you need the way you need it, you have search engines. Search engines are computer programs. As soon as you type a word or a topic, search engines give you a list of websites that provide you with information related to the word or the topic that you have typed. This way, you can easily find the website that suits you best. Going through different websites is called surfing or browsing the net. A website is like a book or magazine. But you cannot make changes in a book once it is printed. It is possible to change the text or pictures on a website as many times as you like. So, makers of the website can update a website. While your computer is connected to the internet, you are online. You can do many things online like reading, watching a movie, listening to songs or even chatting and playing computer games with other people who are online in any part of the world at that time. When you are not connected to the net, you are offline. So, a website is very similar to a book or a magazine that gives us information. But we cannot change a material that is printed, like books and magazines. We can't change them once they are printed. But we can always 
update a website that is add new information remove old information change the pictures that we use a website can always be updated with the latest information children when we are connected to the internet it is said that we are online when we are online we can do lots of things we can play games we can watch movies listen to songs we can also connect with other people who are online when we are disconnected with the internet it is said that we are offline sometimes you gather a lot of information on the net which you want to read or use later what do you do then you can make a copy of the text or pictures or movies on your computer and store it there in other words you download the information on your computer and then use it any time you like to send information on the net you first need to get it ready on your computer in the way you want it on the net you need a website to display the information on the net when we go through some information on the internet and we want to use it or keep it for later what can we do we can make a copy of that information on our computers we can download the document or download the image or download the text file that we need save it on our computer and use it later when we want to upload some information on the internet first we need to prepare the information on our computer how we would like it to look on a website and yes to display any information on the internet we require a website you can also get your own personal address on the net you can receive messages on this address and also send them this system of sending and receiving messages or mail on computers is known as email or electronic mail an email address is short and unique no two email addresses are the same with the address you get an account on the net your account is like your own letter box on the net the only difference is that you can use this letter box not only for receiving mail but also for sending it when you grow up you can get your own email account on the internet you can also send and receive personal messages using a mail account this is known as an email account or an electronic mail account it works just like a letter box you can receive mails from others in this letter box but at the same time you can also send out mails you can send the same mail to hundreds of people you can write a mail draft it and keep it ready to send out later so an email account is very useful every email account has an email address and it is unique there is only one email account there is no other email account like it you can lock this letter box by using a password a password is a secret word or group of letters and or numbers the computer will allow a person to use or see the account only when the person types the correct password people who live in a city are citizens people who use the net are netizens would you like to be a netizen 
mails on an email account are kept secured using a password only the person who owns the account who has started the account knows the password the password is like a security key it may be a number or a word or a group of letters and numbers this is only known to the person who has the account only after entering the password can one access the email account where the received and sent mails are there children in a city people are known as citizens people on the net are known as netizens would you like to be a netizen so children today we learnt about the internet that it is a network of millions of computers around the world it connects millions of people working on computers and it gives us lots of information on various topics the internet is an ocean of information the information on the internet has been systematically put together over websites the websites together form the world wide web websites provide us with information on various topics to easily browse through surf on the net and find the correct information on the suitable website we have search engines search engines help us to get our suitable website and to get the information we need we also have email accounts electronic mail accounts that help us to send and receive messages children the internet opens up a lot of possibilities for people to connect around the world and to work on various subjects together i hope you use the internet wisely children we came across many new words while reading the lesson today come let's try to understand their meaning and form simple sentences using these words the first word is amazing 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 means great wonderful my sister has amazing writing skills The Taj Mahal is an amazing monument. Next word disconnected. Disconnected. Disconnected means not in touch, not in contact. My mother is disconnected from her school friends the phone got disconnected and we could not hear each other next word ocean 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 means a very big water body The Indian Ocean is very big. There are lots of beautiful creatures in the ocean. Next word website. Website. Website gives us information on a particular topic. or topics on the internet my friend is learning how to make a website websites give us a lot of information children i hope you all enjoyed today's session i would now request you all to please make some time and discuss with your friends and family members about what 
other information and services are available on the internet that can benefit you. Children, till we meet next time, please take care. Bye-bye and stay safe. Yeah. <laughs>